Welcome back. We're continuing the news. The story this evening of a woman who recently completed the mandatory state quarantine for 14 days. The woman says the conditions in her room were poor and overall, the overall experience was horrible. The details from Dwayne Anderson. Well, hell for me probably is not hell for some people. I, I, I can only speak for myself because I've never been locked away for 14 days ever in my 54 years on this earth. So I call it my kind of hell. A damning assessment of her time in state quarantine. Ms. Jackson says she was at the facility for 14 days. The typical day would begin with a temperature test. She noted that as the days passed by, the time of the tests, especially in the mornings, got later. After that was breakfast, then lunch, then another temperature test. We saw pictures of some of the meals the persons in quarantine were fed. We noted bread, eggs, vegetables, juices, yams, chickens, and beans. A lot of the food groups involved. You should, we shouldn't have to ask for water. Water should have come with our meals three times per day. And they didn't serve us any hot beverage. We get some food in some little styrofoam box, which styrofoam is banned, but we do get food in styrofoam box. I don't want to describe it, but I do have pictures can show. And um, we get like a seven ounce cup of, of juice, which comes uncovered. Uh, we all had was to put our chairs in front of our door in order for the food to be placed on. And when they place it, they'll knock. So by the time you get to the door, nobody's there. So you have a box of food sitting there with a cup open in the open ear, nothing to cover it. So those, those need to be improved on because not everybody eat the same food. So at least, at least give at least two options. I'm not expecting that we're going to get steaks and lobster, but at least two options. Ms. Jackson also questioned the effectiveness of the state's recruitment of Spanish-speaking nurses from Cuba. Because I suffer, as I say, from chronic venous insufficiency. So here am I locked away in a room without medication because my medication was running out. So that was another concern. Added to the language barrier, Ms. Jackson says she was in a room with limited medication for her pre-existing condition. For her, if she had any indication this was to be the experience, she would have demanded that she be allowed to pay for better treatment. I did not have to pay, but I wish they had charged me because I believe I would have had something better. I mean, if they want me to pay for it, I'm not rich, but I could have paid for what I wanted. So that was very hard on me. Ms. Jackson says she's COVID-19 free. The workers made sure of that with three molecular tests. This involves inserting a six inch long swab into the back of the nasal passage through one nostril and rotating the swab several times for 15 seconds. This process is then repeated through the other nostril. The second test that was done was done by a Jamaican nurse. Clap, clap, clap for the Jamaican nurse. And uh, she said I should breathe in. And it was not so bad. Because the first one I ended up spitting blood. It was hard. It was like the guy was pushing the thing straight to the back of my head. And down my throat. Because those swabs look like they're about four to six inches long. And um, so that one was not too, too bad. But the last one that I did was, was that person was well trained. So that's another thing that needs to be done. They need to have properly trained persons who are doing those testing because not everybody knows how to do it. Her 14-day quarantine ended last Thursday. But on Friday, when they were to leave, the authorities were nowhere to be found. And up till 7 o'clock Saturday morning, no word from nobody. The head nurse was missing. There was nobody told nothing. Nothing was told. And we all decided that we're going to stand at the door with our bags because we need to go. And um, some folks came and tell us that the bus is coming and it was something to do with logistics and blah, 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 blah. Well, of course, a Cuban nurse does not know the geography of Jamaica, so she can't fix that. And I, I really don't see the reason for three JUTC buses to come to take home 20 people in three different places. So that's, that's, that's kind of like a waste of taxpayers' money. The quarantine facility in question is a hotel in St. Anne. Her concerns were echoed by other persons believed to still be in quarantine at the same facility. They expressed displeasure about the food and nature of the tests. Our news center received a picture of someone's nose bleeding, reportedly after the COVID-19 test was done. We understand the disgruntled person staged a demonstration at the facility earlier this week over the conditions. They are demanding the health minister intervene. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News.
Now, the permanent secretary in the health ministry, Dunstan Brand, responded to concerns about the quality of care and food at some of the isolation facilities. He says the ministry is aware and will be taking steps to address the issues raised. Uh, at this point in time, we have engaged management of the different um, venues and we are in consultation to determine the nature of the complaints and to see how we can best improve the quality of service that is being offered at the facility. We do also recognize though that there is a level of frustration in terms of being outside of your normal comfort zone um, as an individual for such an extended time. However, we require that there be two negative tests done before we can release anyone um, from isolation. And sometimes persons remain positive for a considerable length of time. Our experience right now is showing a, an average of about 30 days um, for persons to return a negative test for COVID. And so sometimes that can um, heighten persons' anxiety and frustration for being con um, confined, really, for such an extended period of time.